Hey everyone, today I want to talk about custom instructions in VS Code. I've got a custom instruction for my Playwright tests. So playwright.instructions.md, that's in an instructions folder under .github. Um, basically, I want to give Copilot some extra information when it comes to uh, writing tests. So I've got test writing guidelines, some best practices that I want it to follow. So this file is automatically included every time I ask Copilot to do something. And I really think that's important because I'm always writing tests. So I'm basically telling it the code quality standards, the locators, the assertions, the timeouts, like rely on playwrights built in auto weighting mechanisms and avoid hard coded weights because sometimes AI just throws those weights in there when it's not necessary. Uh, some test structure, some file organization, the assertion best practices, um, and some example test structure that I want it to follow. And then I've given it a test execution strategy of initially run the test, debugging failures, iterating, validating, and reporting, and a little quality checklist for it to go by. So this is um, really cool and should be added to all your projects. This is available in Awesome Copilot on GitHub. Um, but while I'm here, I want to show you something else that you can add to your projects. So in this um, repo, what I'm going to do is I'm going to open Copilot Chat. And let me just make it bigger so you can all see what's going on. I'm actually going to click the gear icon and I'm going to scroll down to generate instructions. I'm going to click that. I'm doing nothing. It's doing it all itself. What it's now doing is it's going to generate an instructions um, file for Copilot for this repo that actually includes everything it should need to know when it comes to when I ask it to do things. It's going to have access to things like there you go. That's just wow, just it before my eyes. Um, so basically, it's a new Copilot instructions being created with concise, actionable guidance for AI coding agents working in this code base. It covers the big picture, Nux3 architecture and content structure, key developer workflows, install, build, uh, dev test, project specific conventions for playwright tests, file organization and naming, integration points, Nux content and playwright, reference to important files and direct directories for further details. Um, so this is cool. Let's go ahead and keep that. And let me just close the chat and let's just quickly review this. Copilot instructions for w.codes. Project overview, it's a Nux3 static site using Nux content version 2 for markdown, the project of the playground for experimentation, uh, components and components, uh, the workflows, the testing conventions, all playwright tests from the tests, one file per major feature page named follow play playwright best Follow Playwright test guidelines in the GitHub instructions, Playwright instructions MD file. So it's actually referring to other instructions to itself. This is really cool. Use role based, user facing locators, use to match area snapshot. Uh, this is amazing. And then the pattern structure, the content, the components, the navigation, the styling, the config, integration points, Nux content, Playwright for E2E and accessibility testing. Love it. Um, and I've got Netflix I'm deploying on that. I've got some examples to add a new blog post, create a markdown file and content. Uh, to add a new test, create a file in the test folder. And some references, the readme, the, the playwright instructions is referred to again. Uh, the next config, very important file to, um, to get all the it needs there. And um, yeah, this is obviously fantastic. So this is the Copilot instructions file I'm now going to include. It's going to be automatically included every time I ask AI to do something. It's got extra context. It's got a lot of playwright um, context in there now as well. And it's just going to do a better job. So go ahead and make sure you go ahead and open the Copilot chat, click on that gear icon and generate some instructions for your project. Thanks everyone and uh, see you in the next video. Bye.